guys, welcome back to Making Everyday Magic. My name is Shauna. If you are new here, we are a homeschooling family of four who focuses on secular curriculum choices. We are in our sixth year of homeschooling and we have a first and fifth grader. So today I want to come and chat with you about things from our fifth grade non-religious curriculum kit that could double as gift ideas. Guys, before we go any further, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. As always, you can find us right on down to the comments or over on Instagram at Making Everyday Magic. And of course, I will have everything that I'm talking about linked down below. Let me give you the little bit of backstory. So you guys know that we started using uh, Timber Doodle non-religious curriculum kits when my oldest was going into second grade. We love them. We're super entertained with them. We get, we customize our kit, but we get the elite level kit, which comes with, so if you get the basic, like it, it's basic, it's just what you need. But the elite level, there's three levels. The elite level tends to come with a lot of additional, like fun learning resources. And that is what this video is about because these things are so fun, but they also foster learning in such a way that they are amazing gift ideas. So when I come and I share in the spring about our Timberdoodle kits and purchasing them, I usually get a lot of feedback like, wow, that's really expensive. And it is expensive. However, the value is there, right? So keep that in mind, especially in these times of high inflation, that the value is really what you need to be focusing on. Now, when I share, I have people come and they tell me, and this is the thing that has blown my mind, that they will purchase the Elite Kit and then take some of the things and set them aside for birthdays or for Christmas, and that is brilliant, brilliant. And so that is why I am here. Now, I know that there are always uh, parents, grandparents, anybody is trying to purchase a gift that has like a longevity to it, that has a bonus to it, like being a learning thing. And by purchasing gifts from like a curriculum company, it will tell you what skills it focuses on. And also you can trust that what you're doing is a like quality buy. So it's, you know, a little bit better than just running to Target and picking up a toy. So I want to encourage you to be gifting learning things, especially if it's not to your own kids, because um, as a parent of children and people gift my children things, I feel better when it's like, really worthwhile, if that makes sense. So I thought it would be fun to come here and share with you uh, things from our fifth grade kit and just from a couple years in the past to that are, are genuinely really good gift ideas. So whether you are the person who is purchasing the full thing and then setting a little aside, or you are the person who just needs some really good ideas, um, I got you covered. Okay, so let's talk about our fifth grade elite kit from 2022. And I will be inserting pictures because I don't have all this stuff out and handy. So I will be inserting pictures there. Okay, so one of the things my daughter absolutely loves is 101 doodle definitions. So it gives you like the definition on the word and then it walks you through drawing uh, what the word means because there is actually uh, science and research that backs up the fact that you remember it better if you like doodle it. So be encouraging those messy note taking guys. It's not all neat lines and highlighters. Sometimes the doodles are what are getting us through. Oh, something else that we absolutely love, the extreme dot to dot US history. Extreme dot to dot one is really fun. It's almost like, you know how there was that color like phase a couple years ago where all the adults were coloring? It's like that. It's like really awesome and serves a purpose but uses your brain, but it's more fun than just like a dot to dot. Real world writing and, okay, so there are a few like workbook things that are curriculum but could double as something really fun, like a good gift idea. Draw the USA, an easy step-by-step -step approach. We love that. Uh, critical and creative thinking. Any thinking workbooks are always really fun. They're also really good to like gift and like keep in the car or like grandma can keep them in her car or keep them in your purse if you have to wait somewhere. Real world writing is really fun. I think it's a nice addition to teach kids how to write an email and a recipe and a book report, things like that. I think it's fun to just kind of get that snippet. Architecto is a game. It's like little wooden pieces and you stack them up up, uh, in order to kind of complete the thing that's on the card. My family gets really excited about these things. My husband's an architect, um, the genius star. So it's like a mind bender puzzle. It's one of those things where you have to fit them in, but they all are shaped a certain way. Again, fun thing to do scrunch maps. My kids love maps. I don't know. I, like they just the other day 
total sidebar. Just the other day, they were just Google mapping stuff and they were so entertained with that, like just playing on Google Maps. So, I mean, if you run out of other fun things to do, just let them play on Google Maps. Amazing World War II stories. I really like the graphic novels and that's a really good thing to purchase. Graphic novels are a fun way to get the information across and your kids don't feel like they're learning. So I think those are amazing. Um, okay, the Dr. Bonified books are awesome and my kids love them. So you need to know that. Erin's Thinking Putty. I don't like slime. Okay, and I didn't, I hadn't really had a bad experience with slime until the other day, but we've always made our slime and we were gifted slime and this slime was probably really old and it, I had to throw out a dish towel and it was terrible, but Erin's Thinking Putty won't do that to you. And you can mix your own and make your own colors and it's kind of amazing and super fun. Uh, the scratch cards. I have a mixed relationship with scratch cards. Do them outside. They are messy. I love them but they are messy. Keep that in mind. Watercolor for young artists. I love a good art set. I don't, I don't know. I, I like a good art set. It's a nice, they have also the ones that are like museum classics and you paint by number, which I think is so cool. Doodle America and you doodle your way from sea to shining sea. Again, doodling sticks better. It just does. Stop motion explosion. So this one, oi. My kid, my, my kids already have a thing from Lego, uh, but the app got discontinued where you basically like film a thing. So they have all of the pieces. And so having the stop motion included, and I don't know if you could guess this, but video and video production is kind of a big part of our lives around here. So the stop motion set is like, I mean, it is the one thing where it's like, when is my, my kit coming? Because stop motion camera. When is that coming? When do I get my camera? When is stop motion coming? When is stop motion coming? When is stop motion coming? I'm gonna have to like, share one of those videos here one day because it'd be entertaining. The Let's Start Coding Base Kit. Now this is like, we are past like simple coding kits apparently. And this thing is like printed circuit board, dessert. like it's legit. It's, it is, if you need a good idea that is gonna keep some people busy for a while, um, or even like a husband or uncle. The, it is a good idea. It is, it is like a stout and meaty kind of thing. So really fast, let's pop over our fourth grade kit. We had the glow in the dark Checo scratch cards, which are wonderful and amazing. Soapstone carving kit, you like carve a bear. The Pix bricks. I love the Pix bricks. It's like individual, they're not Legos, um, but you click it to, and you make like a mosaic and it's amazing and it's gorgeous. And the one we have is Van Gogh's Starry Night. It's so pretty. It is so pretty, but it's like fun to just kind of sit down and do that. So we do really love the Pix Bricks. I also love the massive amount of Faber-Castell pencils that we get because I am obsessed with Faber-Castell pencils. I, I love their products. I absolutely do. The 24 hour history, the graphic novels, we read, them. they're so good. Graphic novels, I cannot say enough about graphic novels. I love graphic novels. That's what you need to know. Write and draw your own comics, My Crazy Inventions, and Robotus. Robotus Dreams is amazing. You can like build and code your little robot. It's fantastic. Fantastic. My youngest was so excited this year to get Robotus pets. Um, my Crazy Invention Sketchbook, you can draw your own inventions. Write and draw your own comics is fun because it basically gives you like a framework and then you can do that. Let's see, third grade. Oh, see, there's the Faber-Castell Paint by Numbers, the museum series. Oh, so cool. Gravitrax. Gravitrax is really fun. It's, I don't know if you guys remember like Dominant Rally, but it's kind of like that, but like they're learning and they're crafting it and it's amazing. Uh, 3D Puzzle Globe, love that. I have a problem. I have a problem, guys. More smart games. I love smart games. I absolutely love smart games. Ooh, Moby Max, super fun. So the Moby Max, it's like a I don't know, like the bananagrams of numbers, is that a good way to say that? But it's like little tiles and you can like, you basically have to like scrabble your way out of it, but you're building mathematic equations and it's so fun. So, okay. I just basically, all of that long and short to say, look at other, you know, it's not all Amazon, Target and Walmart. You should look other places for gift ideas because they can be found in the craziest places like curriculum. You wouldn't, may not think curriculum is a great gift idea. Curriculum is a great gift idea. And I know because I've done it and people have told me. So that makes me an expert. Yeah. Anyways, so guys, 
Don't forget that you can use curriculum pieces. You can multi-purpose that. You can get more value out of your dollar by doing things like gifting curriculum. You can be a great gift giver and the parents will be happy with you, whether that's you or other parents, because you are getting a learning gift idea, which is always awesome. So guys, I will link everything down below. I hope that you found any of this helpful, entertaining, or informative. If you did, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. As always, guys, you can find me down in the comments or over on Instagram at making everyday magic. Don't forget that you can do more than just grab a toy. Okay. So think outside the box, do some coding, some robots, some fun and amazing things that really get kids thinking, working and learning. I always love that. And again, those things do sit a little longer. So keep that in mind.